50 yards, 12 ring, we'll take it. Got a bunch of toes, there's a buck coming behind him. I don't know how big it is, but he's a nice buck. South Dakota Whitetail, which is the way the season's been going. <laughs> Deer killing time. He's down now, baby. Less than 20 yards from where I shot him. Welcome to South Dakota, baby. It's almost dark and I want to go scout. We've got one day to bow hunt tomorrow and then rifle season starts Saturday. Jamie and I both got tags. I got a special buck tag. Jamie's got a whitetail tag. Um, don't have time to run up to where I'm going to mule deer hunt to look tonight, but we're going to go watch where I'm going to bow hunt tomorrow and Jamie's going to be rifle hunting Saturday. Shoot my bow a couple times, make sure everything's good to go. We're back up here after whitetails in South Dakota. We've been getting our butts kicked a little bit this year up here, but tomorrow it's going to be a different story. I'm killing my archery buck. And then Saturday, I'm shooting my mule deer buck. 50 yards, 12 ring, we'll take it. Ready to go. All right, back to I wouldn't call it all faithful because the deer have been avoiding this back here, but it's my favorite spot. Check the spy point camera today. Six different shooter bucks have been here in the last week, so kind of hard not to go try it. Last day of bow season before rifle starts. It's kind of our last chance. I'm gonna try to kill one.
His leg is broke. I'm gonna shoot this deer. He's coming right behind us right here. It's gonna be 25 yards. Easy here with the bow. He's it knocked him down right there. I don't know where it hit him, but it didn't. I have no idea. My bow hit the easy hanger. I can see him right there. He's struggling bad. Where'd that hit him? <sighs> South Dakota Whitetail. <laughs> it's just the way the season's been going. <laughs> Let's just slip out of here and uh, we'll go get the guys. Gosh. Well, we saw him go down from the stand, so I know he's right here. Went back to the truck, drove all the way around to try to get him out of here, but it's not a big buck. Uh, he's missing his back right leg, though, from the knee down. Um, he looked like he was having a rough time. He got behind the stand. It was kind of a hard shot. I had to crouch down, kind of funny, and I shot, and my bow hit this tree stand. It actually hit my seat. I thought I had it cleared. I actually looked at that to make sure I was clear, and, man, it threw me way off, and I, I didn't do him any favors. I hit him a little far back, but he went right down. I must have cut that artery. Uh, but hey, last day of archery season, we've hunted our tails off here in South Dakota, and I'm happy. I got a buck. Uh, sometimes uh, you gotta earn them, and I can tell you one thing, we earned our South Dakota deer this year. We put a lot of hours in the tree to kill one. Had a great sit, saw a lot of deer, and you know, we killed a buck that probably should be killed. So we got some good meat, and uh, you know, I gotta check out this leg and see what, what's up with this deer. But he, he's laying right there. Well, there's my, South Dakota buck, not one of the giants we were hunting in here because there are some good deer on this place. Just a big old six pointer. <laughs> Messed up side there. That back leg though, it is totally missing from the knee down. Must have got hit by a car or hung up in a fence or something. But we have hunted hard here this year in South Dakota. I mean, put in the time, had some good encounters, good opportunities, and we just hadn't been able to put it together. But I feel good, I'm tickled. I am tickled to death with a big six <laughs> here to finish up my hunt. This is a buck that needed to go. You know, he's struggling with that back leg, you know, and uh, with the winter coming and everything, it's going to be pretty tough on him. And uh, we finished up. We got some good meat. Deer looks healthy. It's just, that's, you know, sealed up pretty good in the back there. So I think he's going to be fine to eat and probably one of the hardest earned six pointers ever killed. <laughs> we put some hours in, I can tell you that. Well, we're done here in South Dakota. Next up, rifle hunting here, and we're gonna to try to kill some big ones. We've all got tags, should be a lot of fun. Well, we gotta fast forward a little bit. Rifle season. Jamie shoots his buck with the rifle on opening day. He's still got his archery tag left from earlier in the season. He wasn't able to kill a buck with the bow. He's got his orange on, he's getting back in the stand, he's gonna to try to fill his archery tag the same week. I love the fact I'm switching from gun to bow in less than a day, or in a day exactly. So we'll see how this goes. We were here in South Dakota. It's gun season. We tagged out first day with a nice buck. So I still had a bow tag, so we back in the stand. That's why I'm wearing orange. It's been, I think Mikey might have put be mad at me. Put me in the gar hole. Haven't seen any deer this morning. But really we're sitting in the bedding area, so the deer's gotta come out of the alfalfa field. It takes them a little bit while longer to get to us. It's a good morning, it's like 22 degrees, a little mild wind. Should be a good morning. Well, sun's popped up now, we haven't been seeing much. I haven't really seen anything. It's gotta start moving here sometime soon. I know to be patient, cause this is kind of the bedding area that kind of comes through here last. There's a huge bug way out there. It's probably about 200 yards. Big 
chocolate tin. He's got a dough with him. Holy crap. That's why we need to walk this way. Come on. over here too. Got those right here. Got a bunch of those and there's a buck coming behind him. I don't know how big it is, but it's a nice buck. It might start out slow, but it ended up good. <laughs> we saw a big buck in the distance. And then tried grinding, couldn't even come in. But then the doe started coming in, buck was behind him. Came out there at 50 yards, put the whack him on him. He laying right over there, listen, shoot, he's probably 20 yards from where I shot him. We still got does around us. You gotta love South Dakota. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not gonna call Mike, I'm just gonna send the text message and the picture of the buck. <laughs> oh man. Gosh, I'm telling you what, it's so exciting to be in the woods when the rut's on like that and deer are moving. I mean, just. You can stay out here all day and watch stuff and just video all day long. It is just awesome to watch this. You gotta come just experience this one time. South Dakota, they've got it. It is nice. Let's see if I can find my arrow, but I think the arrow was still in when he fell, but it's gonna double check. Oh, here we go. Right next to him, there's my broadhead. Yeah, look at that big boy. <laughs> oh. Oh. Nice, big, mature. Heavy, not the widest guy. But I'm telling you what, it's a nice buck with a bow. Now I gotta call him into my bad boy taxi out to pick me up. Nice buck. I phoned the Uber 10 minutes ago. They sent some guy in a bad boy buggy out. <laughs> you can't beat it, baby. Congratulations, buddy. I'll tell you what, when you need a buck kill, call the doctor. Good job, you buddy. Mess around. You're not messing around. Oh, he's a good buck. You got a thing for shooting uh Deer with your archery tag after after rifle season kicks think, off, I put the orange on and Jamie can kill him. Next year, I think I'm just not even gonna come up to the archery season. Just wait till gun season. It <laughs> just seems to work out a lot better. <laughs> but man, we That's got a big, him. heavy set of horns. Oh man. yeah, nice he is. He's an old, mature deer. Yeah. Not the biggest, but boy, he's heavy. And uh, he come in chasing does. And well, your text said you were rattled him in. 
Yeah, we uh, had That's rattled, awesome. Yeah, we rattled in some other bucks, and then we just kept tooling around, and here he comes chasing some does. And How far was your shot? Uh, about 50 yards. Really? Really. Smoked him. Good shooting, man. Yeah. I tell you, that wraps up a good season here in South Dakota. We came up early season and hunted hard, had some good encounters. We just couldn't kill them. Both of us had good bucks on us. Yeah. And then I came back and still couldn't get one. The other night, I finally killed a deer right before rifle season started. I killed my uh, three-legged buck. And then you killed this deer. I tell you what, not the biggest bucks, both of them. But well-deserved. And fun. Fun, that's what it's about. We yes, had a good sir. time. Good job, buddy. Congratulations. Right, thank, you. thank you. There's something about sticking one, too. I know, I'm telling you. <laughs> and at 50, I'm like, well, that closes it out for South Dakota. Uh, good year hunt, man. I yeah, it Well, I tell you what, another great week of hunting with Western Ranch Outfitters. And just like I said at the beginning of the show, one of our favorite places to hunt. And it's really because of so many deer, the volumes of deer that you see when you hunt here. If you want a great whitetail hunt, give them a call. Come hunt with us. We'll have some fun. Uh, I was able to kill you know, a pretty nice buck. It was a, a cull buck, really, six-pointer. Uh, buck had three legs. It looked like he got hit by a car or the back leg got hung up in a fence. Um, a buck that really needed to go, and I was able to fill my archery tag. Um, Jamie came out early season, didn't kill his buck, came back. He was able to kill his buck deer in the rifle season on the first day, still had his archery tag, went out and killed a great buck. Again, another management buck. You don't always kill those giants, but I tell you what, we had a ton of fun, and that's what it's all about. It's what we love doing here on Savage Outdoors. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.